a life hack that would be useful to a lot of people in case disaster strikes or some kind of pandemic that will cause a lot of people to either not have water and toiletry supplies and things that they need okay basic needs that's it you don't have okay the first one is let's say you can't get no paper towel you can't get no toilet paper nothing you know to clean your real end when you take a boo boo always paper works okay any kind of envelope notebook newspaper or whatsoever it works okay so in this video i will just use a notebook all your children all notebooks all books that you've been reading you know all those things that you don't need anymore use the paper to your advantage just in case if for some reason no money no supplies to be able to have tissue or, or toilet paper to clean your boo boo when you boo boo so here in this bucket i have water there's water in this bucket so you just gotta pour some water and then you take your pine or any kind of cleaner with strong scents and you pour some in there okay why are you pouring some in there you pour some in there because it's going to serve as a neutralizer okay it's going to serve as a neutralizer for the for for this paper when after you use it to clean your your bum bum you know so water cleaner inside water and then what you do any kind of paper for that matter when you when you take a piece of paper to clean your boom boom hmm? You take a piece of paper to clean your boom boom. First of all, you are used to tissue and all that stuff, which is way soft to touch. So this is hard, you know. When you do it like this, it has pointing edge and it might poke you, you know. So what you gotta do is scribble it. You gotta do like you are washing clothes, you know. You just wanna do like so. Just do like so. You are softening this paper, okay? So that it can be tender and soft like Charmin. You know, you got to make it very soft by doing this. You don't want to do it too hard, then you will rip the paper. But you just want to gently just rub it like that. Just rub it like that. Just rub it like that. You know, just rub it like that. Gently. You see, it's not ripping, right? Maybe some area my heart little rips and stuff. But what you did, what you just did was make it softer. You make it softer so after you get in here, you take a boo-boo, you take the paper, and you swipe away. I don't have no mustard, but this thing, it, it, it helps. It looks, it looks like poop. So let's say that's poop. It's smelly. And... You can't put it in the toilet because it's paper. So now you got, you have improvised, you have an alternative. There's water with a cleaner inside that will neutralize the smell of this poop. So you just take it and put it in the water. You see, it starts to sink just like tissue. It starts to sink in the water just like toilet paper. You see, it has sunk in the water. And this water is going to neutralize this smell that's on there, that poo, poo smell. So you can just keep it in the bathroom. And all you and your families and guests and everybody can use the paper and just go ahead and drop it in there. You won't smell anything. Because that water, that chemical, you probably can add some bleach, you know. Because the bleach will really kill bacteria or uh, odor causing bacteria and things like that. So that's, that's one step. So now let's say there's no running water, but you guys manage to get some gallons of water or drums of water and you have it sitting in the garage or somewhere in the house, but there's no running water. And you really can't afford to keep pouring bucket of water down the toilet when somebody take a poo poo just to flush it. So what you need to do is do follow that same step. You get a bucket, one with a lid, mm -hmm, and you do the same thing. You pour some water in it. You pour a whole lot of, you know, either Fabuloso or pine. I love pine. You pour pine. And then you add some bleach. 
This time, no toilet. You don't get. You can't use toilet. But this time, this you do that, and everybody come and just majestically drop their loads of funk. They just you drop. You do the same thing. You take the paper, you clean, and you put it inside. You will not smell anything. The only bad thing is if you are the first. You know, you're not going to feel disgusted because your yours is the first drop. But everybody else, when they come, they will just have, they, they won't be able to smell anything anyways. Because whether the first or two, two, three people come, the poop will still be neutralized in their water or in their solution. So everybody else can come. It's like making your own potter party. Because this, you don't have no other means to dispose of your, you know, your, your, your feces. So this is this is another method too. If you don't have any running water, you can still follow the same step. And you and everybody, including your guests, y'all can y'all can defecate in there. Yeah? Can defecate in there. When it's full, you just gotta wait till darkness fall. You collect that bucket. Hmm? You collect that bucket. You go in the bush. You gotta wear black clothes. You don't wanna see people you creeping in the bush. People see you creeping in the bush. Like, what is he doing? What is she doing? What, what are they doing? You gotta be very quiet. You don't need flashlight. Know your surroundings. You just go creep in the bush and just dump it. Come back and get some more water and do the same thing so that everybody can take a boo boo that day. Okay, it would be better than somebody taking a boo-boo in the toilet that has no running water and then you flush one poop at a time. No, just don't waste your water. You do this, everybody take a poop for that day, and then when it gets dark, you creep in the forest and dump it. Okay? And then either in the forest or in the in the retention pond. I don't know. Maybe that's gonna kill the fish. Or maybe the fish gonna be happy. I don't know. Just I think in the in the bush is better. In the bush is better. It's not gonna smell because it's already neutralized. You dumping it, and it's just gonna turn the soil into very, very rich fertilizer anyway. So yeah, you won't take me later because you never know. You ne you just never know. You just never know. When there's no paper, you are gonna start pulling tree branches, leaves. You start pulling leaves, and then you can do the same thing and put it in there. It's a neutralizer. Take me later. I know I know y'all gonna take me later.